In this video, I'll show you how to record selling of fixed asset. After some period of fixed asset usage, the organization may decide to sell the asset. The sales may require recording of a gain or loss on the transaction in the reporting period when the sales occur. At the period of sales, the asset's net book value, that is the carrying value, is the difference between the initial cost and the accumulated depreciation. And any difference between the proceed from the sales and the fixed asset's net book value is recognized as gain or loss. To access the fixed asset sales document, go to Accounting fixed asset sales document from fixed asset documents click on create option to create a new document on this form you can enter general information about sales of fixed asset use the company field to specify who purchased the fixed asset in the contract field select the related contract in the entity field select the entity of your company for which this document is being prepared use the link under the entity field this link is AED out of scope you can click here to change the taxation settings if required the common textbooks can be used to specify any additional information about the sale. Once the main tab is filled, move on to the fixed asset tab. Here you specify the sales amount for the fixed asset sold to the customer. Click on add option to add the line. In the fixed asset column, select the fixed asset being sold to the customer company. If the initial cost column is populated, with the initial cost of the fixed asset specified on accepting the asset to depreciation, that is 240. Or you can click on calculate option to fill the details automatically. The accumulated depreciation column is populated with the depreciation amount accumulated on behalf of the fixed asset and net book value shows the difference between the initial cost and the accumulated depreciation value. The depreciation for the current month column shows the depreciation amount calculated for this current month. Use the amount column to enter the sales amount in the accounting currency. In the department column, you specify the department associated with this fixed asset. In the expense item column, you specify an expense item associated with the sales of fixed asset. In the income item column, you select an income item associated with the sale of fixed asset. Under business activity column, you need to select the business activity which is associated with this fixed asset. The GL account column shows the default GL accounts to be used for the fixed asset depreciation and you can change them as required. In the transaction content, column provide a brief comment for the fixed asset being sold once all the details are filled check the tabs and post the document to view the detail of the entry click on view transaction details the entry created will be depreciation accruals that is the depreciation for this current period in depreciation write-off that is the balance of the accumulated depreciation writing of the cost price of the asset and recording of other income for the sales done you can generate bank receipt or cash receipt or check receipt document from this fixed asset sale document to create the balance received from your customer. That's how you can record fixed asset sale document. Thanks for watching the video.